Hey, what's going on guys? Corp Master here. And in today's video, we are doing an overview of the GeoShred app on the iPad. All right guys, so here we go. Let's take a look. So this app is really, really cool to me. Um, you can just load it up like I just did. Let's start from scratch. Let's load it up. And you can just kind of start using the iPad as an instrument right away by just touching on the screen. Let's go to actually the first sound. So you can touch and tap like that. You can also slide or slide this way. There's like some really interesting stuff going on under the hood here uh, that I think is really, really incredible. So on the top left, you have the octave button. So Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what is auto? So you can change the octaves here. What does auto do? Not quite sure what the auto button does there, but maybe we'll experience or we'll experiment a little bit more with it in a moment. Um, then you have this expression area where you can like play with one hand and then you can slide your other hand around here to change what you're hearing. So you have expression, guitar distance, fret, excitation, yep, reading sideways here, and guitar feedback. Warmy, whammy, excuse me. Camera's probably shaking a little bit because the camera's sitting on the desk, but that's all good. And what about vibrato depth? And then what about palm mute? What does this do? Yeah, this thing is probably shaking a lot. That's okay. You guys are, anytime it starts shaking, that tells you that I'm really into the moment and really tapping really hard on this. Not wobbly desk, but just not fully sturdy, I guess, because, you know, as you see what's happening. But it's all good. What about second harmonic? Ah, okay, now I remember what auto does. All right, so let's go back, turn off second harmonic. Oh no, turn on auto. So as you can see, auto is like changing the octave. Let me see, I think, let me see. It's changing the octave as you move up and down. Something like that. Okay, let's see what else we have. Pinch harmonic on release. Amp volume, this just changes the overall volume here. And 
at a high level. That's where we are at with this app so far. Now there's also, let's see, poly, string, mono, Just the sounds are just so cool and different. Let's let's experiment with a few of the other favorites here. So you can hit this. There's like a, you know, a free version of the app, I believe, and then there's a pro version, and then just like most of these music apps, right, there's like other add-ons and in-app purchases and all that good stuff. Um, so let's, let's experiment with a few of what we have here. So let's go to our favorites, which is here, and then let's go to a few of these. This one is called Fripper Finger Swell. Nothing, no sound. So I think you have to slide in order to get the sound on this one. So if you just tap the top, nothing happens. Tap the bottom, nothing happens. Tap anywhere, nothing happens. But s slide. As you can see, when you make a change to the um, preset, this turns red, right? The name of it turns red. So if I do anything, you can see, oh, not there, but like that, you see it turns red. I guess that means you have to probably save it, like save as probably, yep, and then, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, let's check out, let's, let's keep doing some of these favorites until we find one that we really like, and then, I mean, all of them are dope, uh, and then one that really jumps out at me, and then we're gonna experiment a little bit with the um, backing track section on here as well. So I'm a piano player, as you guys know, not a guitar player yet. I would eventually love to learn it, and I definitely will, I think, eventually. Um, this is a really interesting entryway into the guitar. You don't need to have technique at all, really, in order to play around with this and kind of act like you're a pro guitar player. Kind of like this. Something like that. All right, let's take a look at these backing tracks. So if you hit the three dots, and I think I saw it, set backing track, and then global preset factory, okay. There, that's the thing, play. <laughs> So when you change the track, the backing track stops. We're gonna try a different backing track, perhaps on here. No backing tracks defined. Use set backing. Okay, so a little interesting, but that's cool. Factory, feel good. What does this sound like? All right, let's experiment with this a little bit.
second track. Maybe it would be cool for there to be like a metronome. I mean, not metronome. Uh, what do you call it? Transport window kind of thing, right? On there, maybe. So you don't have to keep going in, but that's okay. All right, let's experiment with a few more. So you kind of just play around with it, right? You experiment a little bit and you kind of mess around with some of these settings up top to to see how different, or to see how you can make the sound different. It's interesting. I think you can turn off scale mode too, perhaps, or something. Let's see. Uh, model and FX, performance setting, maybe performance settings. And then you see everything is set. Enable mode intervals. Yeah, you could do some stuff down here, I think. Enable, you know, I'm not gonna do too much in-depth kind of stuff there. I do want to check a few of these other sounds out like geo flutes. Let's check these out. So I can't, I can't go into this app and be like, oh man, this sounds, this sound is amazing. I, I want to play this sound on a regular keyboard. It's like, um, no, that's what my regular keyboard over here is for, right? I have a regular keyboard there. I have a Roland Phantom there. I can play these types of sounds, no problem on there. But this being portable and this being touchscreen, like you have to kind of appreciate the fact that the iPad can be an instrument in its own right, which is why I don't like typically enjoy using other peripherals as much like this thing with my iPad because I just like the standalone-ness of the iPad. And when I do want to, you know, rock out and like use the iPad for, I just said iPad like 30 times, but use it for um, something a little more intense that I do need a keyboard for, then I can connect it to my keyboard over here. But like if I'm out and about, I like kind of working within the limitations a little bit. Sometimes like that's something that I, I kind of enjoy challenging myself and uh, yeah. So that that's kind of what this is, right? You're, you're using just this and you're able to just experiment a little bit. That sounds really cool to me. having a lot of fun with this app. This app is really cool. Geo flute meditation.
All right, those are a lot of food. There's a lot of sounds on here, guys. Uh, what about sax? Loading. Loading. So this is more extreme, right? The expression thing here. So I would want, I, I'm looking for a certain key like I'm playing the keyboard. So, obviously. Yeah, there's a lot you can do with this. What about uh, vowel? What is this? Cool. I feel like people who use a keyboard a lot could find some value in this just like I've seen uh, my man Jordan Rudis uh, on here on some lives and he just kills it like like he's you know developer behind it of course so he got to know how to use it right but he, he does some really dope demonstrations I want to spend some more time with this and co continue learning it and uh, <laughs> I like the idea of being able to play an instrument portably. So this could be really cool to be able to bring this somewhere and play this, learn how to play this a little bit, you know? Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, spend some more time with this. Imagine going to like a park somewhere, you know, connecting a Bose S1 Pro, shout out Bose, uh, speaker and just going to the park and just rocking out and just making some music. It, gotta, it has to sound nice, so it's like, I would want some like really, let me see. kid and it's like let me see if I can try to do it here it's kind of like yeah I'm really liking this app a lot, as y'all can see. Sonic textures, what is this? So this would be cool to do set back and track. And let's find a different factory track on it. Ah, so, hmm, set backing track. So I can go to file, no files in your documents folder, go to menu files, <clears throat> import. Okay, so let's try to, let's try to add a file here, uh, files. <clears throat> import and is see all right so this is something I feel like they should have uh what's the name of that thing audio share on here right but it's not on here for some reason audio share should be here because that's where people's audio files are at but that's okay 
Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and look for another factory song. Something like this would be interesting. Let's see. Oh, so, okay, let's just experiment with some more sonic textures. Oh, slide. See, that's dope to me. You can just slide like this. This is beautiful. That's beautiful. Can you favorite some of these or nah? Nah, you just gotta rock, okay. Yeah, guys, I'm loving this app. I, I didn't need, I, I haven't experimented that much with it um, prior to today. I mean, I use it a little bit, but I never really just dove in like this. Like, this is really cool. So hitting the bottom. If you have headphones on, you see the sounds bouncing from both. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. All right, so my question would be, as a you know Koala sampler user, someone who uses that to do music with, to make music with, do music with, <laughs> um, how do I record something on here? Let's see. Um, what is this? This is, let's see. I don't know what that button is. That just, okay, maximizes question. Panic button, main menu, editing. So you should be able to record on here. If you can't, I, I'm not going to be mad at it. I mean, you know what? You know what you can do is you probably can go into something like AUM and you probably can use this, right? Let's see. GeoShred. I'm pretty sure GeoShred you can use in here. And there it is. Uh, not play, but we want this, I guess. Pro. And then uh, we can like, so say if I, this might sound terrible, but who cares? If I wanted to go to file player, and if I wanted to load um, the song from Phantom, and I load this, and I start playing this, go in here. So, okay, you can go back, that's cool. So there you go, talking about using other songs, you can just, other backing tracks, there's a backing track right there. We don't have to use the ones that are in here, you don't have to import in here either. You can just rock with AUM if you have it installed and if you have it purchased. But for me, I would want to be able to, let's see, what does show trace me? Oh, no, 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 I don't know what all that means. That kind of scared me a little bit. Um, <laughs> 
So let's see. I would want to make it so that this is not set to a certain scale. So what's control surface? Also, you could remove certain stuff, certain items from the control surface. Key step number. Close that. Let's go to MIDI control, mini control surface. Let's go to performance settings. So it's on mono. Keyboard. What is keyboard? Okay, here you go. Look. Scale. So I would say I don't want it on a scale. I want it on, let me see, what is all this? You can't just click off. Okay, okay. Mm. What if you just do, what's customize scale? Back, back, you can't go back on here. You gotta click something, you gotta click something. I don't, oh, okay, whatever. Um, what about root C, root C, scale, customize scale. We just want, it, like, uh, we don't want to scale. Oh, this is tuning. Okay, so this is, all right, this might be going a little too in, too in depth. <clears throat> ah, look at this. What is all this stuff up here? So when you go into performance setting, these are, what are all these buttons up top? Oh, look at this. Oh, so you could change some reverb. <laughs> Oh, just left and right changes. Left, right. Okay. Room size. Yeah, this is this is cool. There's a lot more. I think this video is getting a little bit long. Was it 20 to 27 minutes? Long video. All right. Um, that was a lot of fun. Let me get you guys back so you can see my face. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. That was a lot of fun, as you can see. I think this camera was shaking a lot just now, but that's okay. Uh, appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, definitely check out the app if you are interested. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. If this is your first time on the channel, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and like the video. It really supports and helps the channel, as I'm sure most of you guys know. Uh, and I definitely appreciate it. So have a wonderful rest of the day. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.